was reborn today. Yeah. The spirituality of the speech, it was a very spiritual speech, unlike a lot of the rally speeches. And I tweeted right before, I said he's going to invoke uh, the, the providence, he's going to invoke the covenant, and he did it, because that's the key. Listen, I didn't even be that much of a religious person until I got deeper in and studied these people. They all understand that they have to get God out, not let us feel empowered, not let us know about America's destiny, not teach what George Washington said. They need to kill that narrative because from their atheist or you know, globalist uh, view, from psychological view, it gives us a culture that unifies us. That's so they've right. been killing our culture, That's right. and then they've been bringing in this alien culture of everybody hating each other and fighting That's with each right. other and trying to bring us down, but then while they suck and sap our energy. So um, uh, the second phase of slavery just fell today. The humans are trying to progress into the future. That's why they call themselves the progressives. They're the opposite. They're not the progressives. Regressives. Uh, yeah, exactly. They're regressives. That's what the Jacobin Party was about. And that's what the, the the Democrats were called, was the Jacobin or French Revolution Party. They wanted to regress everything and basically set up their own new tyranny. What you're seeing here is the real Renaissance, and what you're seeing here is the real 1776. And the, yep. the last thing, sir, the, the subtext of uh, Senator Schumer's speech about uh, going into battle, was that was that a call to arms to the, to the left to keep fighting? Yes, he was trying to get everybody to boo him so he could say, oh, I came and I was nice and they were mean to me. But everybody but he, slept through it. Yeah, yeah, but everybody <laughs> slept through it. He was clearly putting the knife in, sorry, and like, you know, trying to twist it. People didn't really take the bait. I caught myself trying to take the bait and I went, no, no, he's trying to set us up. And uh, then, it, it, it just failed. It, it was just trying to bring back all this open old wounds and swinging a miss. Yep. Big miss. Yeah. Donald Trump had a grand slam today, and uh, Chucky e. Schumer or Chucky e. Scammer. I mean, it just it was a total foul ball. It just, he failed. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Still on here. All right. Uh, yes, sir. Well, God bless. Anybody else want to get on tape radio? Here, sir. Come on in here. Sharp dress, fella. All right. What's your name, sir? Marshall McGill. Marshall McGill. We'll talk to folks here. Take over. Hey, hey, you know what? Today was the beginning of something new. We've been waiting for this for a long time. And you know, the most important thing I saw today um, was that our president is putting back America first. We've been compromising. We've been putting everybody else second. We didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We were politically correct. And today our president says, America has nothing wrong with any other country putting themselves first. But we're going to put ourselves first. And we're going to focus on building our inner cities. We're going to focus on building our rural areas out west. We're going to be focusing on education. And most of all, what I got today was that our president says we're going to put God first. That's right. Amen. And the Bible says in Proverbs 14 and 30 Amen. that righteousness exalts a nation and sin brings it down. That's it. He brought the us, power back here. There you go. We can't do anything without God. And when we put God first, nothing will be impossible for us. So the most important thing it is today, out of all the different uh, agendas and so forth, was putting God first. And if we seek God first, everything else will be added to it. So I, I'm encouraged today that. Uh, we're starting over. I'm encouraged today that we're putting God first, and I believe this nation is going to see a quick turnaround. I'm not talking about years and years, but we're going to see the first year. Seems like he's been in office 10 years because God's hand is going to be on him. You watch what God does. Stay there. I want to continue. Listen, it's not mumbo jumbo. I, they, they were very serious about the speech, but I could feel it when I was going in there. I said, I feel like Providence, and he's going to invoke God and bring God back in and ask us to accept God in, and that will just like fill the vacuum and push all this evil out. I mean, you take God out, evil pours in. You can feel it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. It's, 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 it's about who you pursue. And wherever you pursue and wherever your aims are, that's where your energy and the power is going to come from. And we put God first, like we're doing today. It's just the beginning. It's not meaning overnight it's going to happen. But when we begin to pursue God, you know, somebody said one time, if you can't run, a uh, uh, walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. And if you can't crawl, just look that way. Turn and, your you know, eyes. and when you turn your eyes that way, and, and, and God, he looks at us. Pretty soon you can crawl, just you, turn you, your eyes. There you go. Then you start walking. Then you start running. And then you begin to see the changes. And I really believe that the day... Uh, uh, America has woken up. And you know what? Regardless of what your political party is, or what you believe uh, uh, personally, morally, or whatever, but the fact is that we have to embrace democracy. America spoke, America won, and America has its country back. Absolutely. And, 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 and I want to warn the elite, even if they kill Trump, the spirit is, is us, as we kept saying. It's, it's already been opened up. It's already rising. 
and they're not going to stop it. All of the world countries are trying to get out from under the globalists. The globalists are very, very evil, and they're trying to set up their world government that the Bible tells us about. These are evil people. Yeah, we're living in the last days. We're living in perilous times. And, and, and the, the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence is taken by force. We can no longer be passive. Uh, we can no longer just sit back and watch our country uh, uh, go to hell. We, we can't do that. We've got to stand up for what is right and we've got to take our positions as men and women of God, not just for us, but we're going to be judged by what happens to the generations behind us. So it's imperative that we take a stand for what is right and, and we're going to have differences. We're going to have disagreements. We're not going to always go together on everything, but the most important thing that we can do is, is, is uh, agree to disagree and then in peace seek the higher position of that particular principle or, or, or whatever we're, we're, we're debating on. But I believe, I honestly believe with all my heart that today America has taken a step. And you know what? It's not just America, but there are countries all around the world that has been waiting on us to do this. But the Bible says in Romans 8, it says that the creation, they moan and groan, waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God, but it does not appear what they should be. There are people out there waiting for America to take its stand again, and they will support us. But this divisiveness, this black, this white, this, 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 this all this stuff, that's going, it's just political, it's just the enemy, because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But I believe that today we're on the right track, buddy. We're on the right track. Have you ever felt the spirit stronger than today? No, no. You know, and I, I watched the rabbi speak. I, I watched uh, 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 Paula White speak. I watched the, but the power uh, the was African strong. American, and I saw, and I saw that, and I heard what uh, uh, President Trump said in his speech. I'm telling you right now, we put God first. That is never, ever that, that I can remember. Did you see a, a, how the Democrats were squirming up there? Look, look you're going <laughs> to squirm. When, when truth is coming forth, you're going to squirm. Let me say something to you. This has probably been one of the one of the few times I've heard the name Jesus Christ mentioned Amen. in inauguration as much as it was mentioned today, and not mentioned out of fear or intimidation, but with confidence and boldness it was mentioned because people realize that the only way this America that we serve, that we love, is going to be back on top again like it's supposed to be and be great again is that we put God first. Well, even foreign leaders throughout history have marveled the, quote, luck of America or Providence. Bismarck said, God loves children, drunks, and the United States of America. <laughs> so, well, God bless you. Anything else, sir? No, that's it. God bless you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. There you, you go. Sir? Yes, sir. There you and go. If anybody else, if anybody disagrees with us, you're welcome to come yeah. in here, too. Take care. God bless we're you. We're not like the other protesters. We let people have it. First of all, let yeah, me... Oh, we're going to break. We'll come right back to you, okay? Yeah. And, ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. David Knight and the rest of the great crew are there in studio. I'm going to talk to a few more people out here on the street, and then I'm going to go get a little bite to eat, and then I'm going to be back on. I, I really need to focus, write some notes, and just be very humble. And I know because this is a very special time. Uh, the evil that was getting ready to unfold, you thought things were already evil? They were about to launch the full evil. Total takeover of the media, arresting patriots, torturing us, I mean, the whole nine yards. And it, it, it was so horrible that even the intelligence agencies just said we just, it just we can't do this. This is crazy. It's like a comic book of evil. I mean, it's just so it's so evil. Y you see movies, you read history books, both fiction and nonfiction. You think things like this can't really be happening till till you see it happen. I mean, we saw a guy trying to get three llamas in this morning past Homeland Security, and it's like we had to take photos of it. No one would believe it. I'm going to put those up later. It's like look at a bomb in the llama or something. I mean, it's just so much. My point is, crazy stuff's going on. Roger Stone shows up in a huge top hat. He's been poisoned by polonium. I um, mean, we're living in crazy times. To the left, the right, all points of the compass, it is wild. Sir, tell us who you are and tell us what you think about this today. Uh, Good to meet nice you. Here. Nice, nice to be here and nice to see you. And my name is Philip Thomas. I'm a naturalized American citizen. I lived in many parts of the world. I lived in Muslim countries. And I know how human rights are being violated. Uh, you know, and people, people of other religions are treated like dirt. And this country is a great country. For the past eight years, we had a nightmare with Obama. And that nightmare is over today. Yeah. 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 As that the other brother, the African American brother, said, uh, a lot of quotation he gave from the Bible. You read Daniel chapter two. You will find God is the installer and God is the remover of kings. Today, God had installed Mr. Trump as the president of this country. That's right. We yeah. voted, but nothing yeah. the enemy could do worked. It yeah. all turned against it. It was providence. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell people the providence I've experienced. It's just... You know, I, my heart bleeds when I see the young people are supporting Democratic Party, which is, which is directionless. 
And now, you know what's happening with Democratic Party? They're trying to recruit, take Keith Ellison as the chief, and he is an Islamist. He wants to destroy United States. And Americans should wake up. If you don't wake up, you will be in your slumber, and your slumber will lead to death. Well, the war, it, Muslims have divided the wall into two parts, Darul Harb and Darul Islam. Where Islamic rule is there, it is known as Darul Islam, which means house of Islam. And where there is no Islamic rule, it is known as Darul Harb, which means house of war. And the house of Islam should wage constantly war against the house of war, which is Darul Harb. Now, America is considered as Darul Harb by the Darul Islam, and they are waging a war against us. Jihad is the weapon they are using. Thing. Could you believe, though, yeah. that in Europe and here they actually sold yeah. out and Brennan, yeah. as yeah. the head of the CIA, is a hardcore Wahhabist? Yes. And that this has been put up with? Yeah. Go ahead. And so we have to be careful, and Alex Jones is doing a great job. I've been watching his, his videos his, on YouTube, and my son, who lives in India, always calls and tells me, don't forget, don't, don't, don't neglect Alex Jones' views. He, it's very important, and it will save America. And I'm so glad. Unless there's a huge listeners in India. Yeah, of course you have. And day after tomorrow, I'm flying to India, and I'm going to be an ambassador for Mr. Trump. Well, great. But enough about yeah. me. Talk yeah. about, yeah. Talk about, yeah. talk about yeah. where you see the country going. Pardon? Enough about me. I mean, talk about where you see the country Oh, sorry. Going. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so we have to be very careful about the Islamic agenda. You know, they say Muslims are all good. Oh, let them be good at home. Okay, but they are they want to destroy United States outside the United States. They said God, America is a devil, but here they say God bless America. It's takia. There's an Arabic, the Muslim doctrine called Al Takia lie before your enemy, but hate them in your heart. That's what's happening. So America should wake up and give an answer. Well, I yeah. think America's starting yeah. to wake up. Yes. <laughs> if they kill yeah. Trump, which I know they're seriously considering doing, no. I think it'll be an even bigger defeat no, no. for them. No, no. I don't think that will happen because our police, our military, our secret service, they're all strong. No, no. They're I, the best. I agree, but they're going to try is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Yes, of course. They'll try, but they try will be in vain. But Trump will triumph. Jesus will protect them. Jesus will protect. Jesus will protect. Yes. God has the because God is the installer. And Yahweh has installed Mr. Trump to become the president of this greatest nation and the, most, the greatest superpower ever in the history of mankind. So I'm so glad to be here. And if you want some, over, some, more, some, more, some of my views, I can tell you uh, what, uh, you know, America should become strong. A strong America is the one which will stop Islamization of this world.